You were low fire. Yeah, bro, because she didn't talk to him like she was supposed to talk. <laughs> I swear to God, you can't. Listen, I don't care how hard Low Soul Vice ever was. It ain't nothing he could get up there and talk to me about. He was never in a zip code where we could have a same struggle discussion. Right. You not about to tell me that. I get why, you know what I'm saying? I get their angle, but he would, you know what I'm saying? He'd have to save the whole crowd to have a chance at my soul. That was great, bro. <laughs> those, those are still on my list. I, I just told I just told him Geechee and Av in the new era chat. Like, once we get these old niggas out the way, it's lit for y'all. Yeah, man. Cause I'm telling you, these legends gotta just go sit down. Like, this is what I understand, right? If you were able to earn the term or title legend, right? Why would you be against dying when 87 percent of your legends did not become such until they were pronounced dead? If Tupac right. was alive, he would be he would be Wayne. He'd be a legend now because of how long he lived. But you know what's going to make him more legendary? Him dying. That's Goose World is considered a legend. You know why? Because he died at the peak of doing so. All of these Nipsey, even in the Nipsey. I love the fuck out of Nipsey, G. However, that legendary tag, tag gets, it comes along with the fact that you did. That's a in, in, in. What dudes when I win the battle, all the niggas could die. That's why I respect um, That's why I respect Diddy, Danny, DNA, Shine, Pac. Because they had jump in a ring with a new nigga that, that could possibly take their head off. You feel me? But them niggas don't care to do it. Right. That's why when I be coming for auntie. Uh, if, you, if niggas notice, uh, you'll never hear me talking crazy. You'll never catch me diminishing what she's accomplished or no shit like that. You feel me? Like, because it's dope that you're still willing to hop out here with niggas and get busy. You feel me? But we're going right. to talk about the fact that you know, we're going to talk about a lot of facts that, that matter. Because I don't care what you did in 1963. What you doing? here right now. I'm out here right now. Pull up on you right now. You pull up on me. You gonna need to rub some on them knees first because you know how this weather gets. You know <laughs> that's why. That's why I wanted, I wanted to battle her. Like, I don't want to now. Oh, that he needs to just retire. He needs to do a going out of business freestyle and just leave it alone. That shit wasn't too. Uh, it was crazy too because nigga said. I, Get her good graces. No, her first round was up. I feel like I wish more. Like, like, like. I think he took that approach because he knew that he wasn't gonna. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't gonna be able to get but so far. Nah, you, it really you said I didn't respect your past. It's, you got to listen before you respond to things. I spoke on how much respect I had for her accolades initially. That's what I started from. However, she did that shit then. I'm finna do that shit now. So what she did in 1960. Hey, yo, who is that? BLSXXC. Yo, what the fuck? That's, that's like 16 years ago, bro. That's crazy. <sighs> Yo, you know, you 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 know the nigga that started that shit. That nigga a millionaire now, bro. That nigga, he be hit. Yo, it's it's this crazy flames. He just tripped me out for real, for real with this. Not too many niggas know that nigga niggas from around my way. Well, they actually from Camden, but they moved out to Westville. These was the first niggas that put me like in an actual studio, studio photo shoots and all of that. But the nigga that started that nigga a millionaire now. Like, um, I'm trying to think. You, did you see that meme floating around? A nigga had a uh, a nigga had like it looked like a it looked like a fanny pack around his shoulder, but it held his liquor, bottle, but it was made out of Louis Vuitton. Yeah, like the shit so I be having the um the little the wine bottle. Yeah, that, that's my man's. He make this. Like, he make this shit like he just make strong, symmetric, both of our Nike checks. That's crazy, yo. Who yo? That yo, that's wild that he just brought that up. That's literally like 16 years old. That's crazy. Yo, that be the part I love about battle rap though. Like on my way to California, I literally I'm standing in the airport, right? And there's this lady looking at me. Bro, you know how I get when people look at me. You 
feel me? So I bop past her at first, I ain't say nothing, and she's following me <laughs> with her eyes. And when I turn around, I'm literally like, I'm unzipping my jacket. She like, you, 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 things, right? I'm like, who? Girl, I thought I was gonna have to. Mm. Hey, yeah, that's me. You're like, can you take a picture? Yes. Yep, you sure can. Y'all gotta say something. Don't be creepy. If you see me, speak to me. Don't be a creep. I told you. Because I mean, lift your ass up. I'm gonna be sad. In 2014, bro, I, I almost upped it on a fan, bro. And mind you, and this now if a nigga staring at me nine times out of ten, I know it's battle rap. This is, yeah. this is a time where I only got like three <laughs> out of a thousand views. So I'm not expecting a nigga to know me from battle rap. I'm in the car with my mom waiting on my sister. I got my shoes off. I see this nigga from about a good hundred feet away just staring. And he just keeps getting closer, slower and slower. Thank so then you, I turn, love. I'm, I'm with my mom, so I'm putting my boots on slowly. By the time he get like 50 feet away, I hop out the car, ready to pull the shit out of my pocket. And I'm like, yo, he like, Holmes, I'm like, I know you. He like, yeah, I be watching your battles. I'm like, nigga, you, you got to move different than that. I had a nigga nervous as hell. <laughs> I'm telling you, yo, like, and, but you know what? It's, it's weird. Like, that's the part that's the fucking with my brain the most, like, to think, gee, like, I used to, I was a kid rapping for the fucking rapping, you know what I'm saying, like, I would, like, like, this has always been something I enjoyed to do, so to get to take something that niggas was doing to pass the time, to pass the stress, to pass whatever the fuck, and get paid to enjoy it, you know what I'm saying, I'm back and forth in California so fucking much, my, my peoples don't even know if I left yet, like, nigga, well, didn't you just come back, you feel me? That type of shit, like, no funny. That's why I speak on my bitty so much. That's why every time I come back, I get I get, I get, get somebody from my family put on my body. So, because since they can't go, we up here. You know what I mean? Like, and, 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 and I be telling niggas, this is why I'm going to be here for a long time. Because, yeah, this money is great. But this, I've been doing this shit because I love to do it. And now you niggas is paying me to do this shit? Like, I just told you, bro. <laughs> The shit bro was talking about was 16 years ago, bro. I've been rapping for 18 years, literally. Niggas don't even be thinking I'm old enough to have been rapping for 18 years. But, like, I've been doing this shit for 18 years and been getting paid for it for the last three. Think, Nigga, I'm going to Minnesota on Saturday. Ain't never been there. Yo, that's where Memphis, listen, I'm going to Memphis between the 2nd and the 4th, even though, of April, even though that's right before my battle, because of the simple fact that I've never been to Memphis, and, you know what I'm saying, to, to get those kind of, nigga, my little brother out here, you feel me, little uh, motherfucker don't go nowhere, don't go nowhere, you feel me, like, it's, it's to get to do shit like this, it's, it's dope, dog. And that's why y'all gonna be stuck with me because these bitches never wanted it like I wanted. These bitches just wanted the opportunity to get next to these niggas and make a little dick. I ain't tripping on none of that. I that's want what that I said. That was literally what I said in the tournament. I said, I'm gonna win this bitch because I want it more than everybody else. Literally. And that's the truth. Man. Like, I feel like this, right? Initially, you feel me? The big stage, it, 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 it fucked people up, right? Because it gave you the clout, but it didn't really give you the bag. Niggas was getting, niggas' names was ringing hella bells and they pockets couldn't pick a bell up to say they like. I'm telling you. I don't want that. I don't want that. I like that we are in a field where every time you see me progress, please be aware of the fact that my pocket did too. Bro. Don't I you think I got a better opportunity and didn't get a better check? Don't you, don't you fucking think like that. Let's go. Damn, I'm dropping shit. I just booked. I just booked a one rounder on a smaller league for the price that URL was paying me for a three rounder this time last year. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Now that's a fact, Piper. Boy. I can't remember the say on people homes like that. Like niggas don't understand. Like and and like sick was saying earlier, bro. I'm gonna be in this motherfucker for a long time. Because I'm genuinely humble. Bro, I, when I when I seen Remy and Pat, they addressed me by name. And that shit fucked me up. Like, excuse me? After my beat, I found it. Like, that nigga King Lopez. 
I'm saying? They, they be steep because we not after the same thing they after. Like, but you know what, too? To be honest, I prefer it this way. Because I feel like if I had to get on stage and give you anything other than who I actually am, it wouldn't come across the same. It wouldn't have the same feel. It wouldn't have the same vibe because it wouldn't be me. You feel me? That's why the opinions, the perspectives, I don't give a fuck who you feel won at the end of it because I got paid to be my motherfucking self. I got paid to tell y'all the truth for three rounds. What? Or up. Niggas don't understand that. Motherfuckers get caught up in the superficial shit. Yeah, the followers is cool. The 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 the, 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 the notoriety is cool. But nigga, like bro just said, like, bro, I've been putting this pain in since 2003, literally. Man, it's deeper than that. Like, you know I mean? It's deeper than that. Like, I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, niggas don't, niggas be trying to, niggas be wanting to pay homage and all that other shit, but nobody ever gives respect where respect is due. It's very difficult to be militant enough and have enough faith in your ability to bring life to things to be patient. That's why some people, you know what I'm saying? The people that have difficulty manifesting are the people that lack patience. You don't know how to say, this is what I want, this is how I'm going to get it, and I don't mind waiting. So that's now, that's, that's why y'all stuck with us, because neither one of us minded waiting. There was quite a few people that had they shot and blew they shot, and both of us knew that they shouldn't have been in the way anyway. But it's cool. Bruh, like, like I Ain't told no you. Ain't nobody in here, man, you got to wait. My PG, my PG class, I got pushed to the back of the line. And I had the best two PGs that year. Me versus Joe and me versus Moon was the best two PGs to come out in 2017. And I got pushed to the back of the line. But it also come with type of nigga you is. Niggas a hate. Niggas a see a nigga and oh, why did this? Nope, it's cool. That's a fact, nigga. That's, that's crazy. My homegirl say, Miss hey, Bray. Bro, listen. Try to rest in peace to my boy. Her brother, he shot a video with me back in. 2018. Um, no, I mean, t what the fuck? That sound. 2018. 2008, bro. 2008. I've been, anybody that know me, niggas either know me from hustling or rapping. You know what I'm saying? So when I be, when I be, uh, uh, when I be seeing niggas, oh, I just started rapping two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, that's cute. Facts. It's different. Hey, Piper Boy, no funny. It really, it really wasn't about being brave. It was, you know what I'm saying? It was me making sure I was prepared for whether he chose to play with me or whether he chose to treat me like a threat. And the response I was given showed me that I was prepared for that. It was about, because in these battles, to me, it's not about what they're going to pay you. It's not about what you're going to say. It's about the level of respect the motherfucker got for you when they sit down to write for you. Uh -huh. That's what counts. For me, maybe not for other people, but that's what counts for me. You feel me? There's nothing in them rounds that make anybody feel like that man thought I was something you could play with. I appreciate that. Like, and, so it, and didn't, that it didn't, because he's in my top five, it didn't make me nervous. It, it, it excited the fuck out of me. I was like, oh, this nigga about to talk to my life. And it was the best night I ever fucking had, dude. It was amazing, right? Oh, yes, Saturday was my favorite battle, bro. Like, I got yeah. niggas. He think I want to battle with a nigga that I think is one of the best in the world, bro. Especially because when you put against them type of pens, I don't know about you, but it just makes me feel like the rest of you bitches can't talk to me about nothing. Don't make eye contact when you walk and look down, bitch. <laughs> like, because cause I'm going to keep it 100. Niggas be telling me, like, niggas like to tell me, oh, well, your peer separating yourself with them. To keep it a 1,000, and I, I don't feel like I'm shitting on anybody. This is a fact. I'm the only one of my peers. I'm the only one out of all of my peers that ain't never battled a nigga that just laid down and died. You f tell me an easy battle I've been in. Not one. Like, and that, that's what I pride myself on. Like, like nigga, I battled. Like, mind you, they say B dot can beat Lux, right? Cool. B dot, I battled a top five B dot performance. Top three, possibly. Like, niggas don't niggas don't get in there and play with me because niggas know what's up. You let a man what's shaking against me? Yeah, that's 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 how I kept looking at it. I'm like against you, like you know what Because when I came out of the building, that was the first thing J C said to me. He said, you know, 
it's quite a few grown men that wouldn't have looked that that smooth standing in front of the mouse. He said, I like right. I like the way you do business. You feel me like this? As yeah. soon as soon as we got off stage, Nitty Nitty was like, I should steal off when you for trying to punch with me. Cause I'm gonna keep it it kinda made me mad. When, like, don't try to punch me. Bro, don't tell me. Cause then, and it was Battler saying that. That just tells me you fear that man in some way. And you trying to project that shit on the me. You, you, you project you know, you know that you, shit elsewhere. I can't give you a whole lot of, oh, man, well, you know, you just got to you just gotta try your best. Like, what world do you live in where I wasn't going to give my all? Trying, first of all, is for people that are unaware of what the fuck they could do. But what made you feel like I wasn't going to give my all? into something I gave my all to make obtainable. What? Uh, Y'all be sad and crazy. Like, niggas thought I was coming off as arrogant because DNA was like, you know what you stepping into? I said, a battle. And then niggas was like, try to die. Tell that nigga to try to lose. I'm telling you, that's because people, people, people gas the wrong thing. You know, I, I, I've been saying this since yesterday. Battle rap lacks realism the most. You're so used to people telling niggas what they want to hear or kissing the necessary ass to keep a nigga in the loop that you assume that's what everybody else going to offer you. I'm going to keep it hot. You're going to get the truth. If the truth is a problem, we can go outside, around the corner, up the block, whatever the thing. But all of that extra shit, that's why niggas come across the issues they come across. You don't know what kind of battler you, kind of, you want to be because you don't know what kind of person you are. Right. Yeah, you, know, you had an identity struggle, and you thought that Richmond would fix. You thought that battle rap would fix it. It's not the case. Feel you me? And I be telling niggas, you gotta figure. Me and my man, um, what the fuck? I ain't forget his name. It just you know, run a brain fart. My man, rich quick. I, I'm from a city. My city only eight that. My 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 city population eight thousand people, bro. When I be seeing niggas that I grew up with tell me I'm the biggest thing in our city ever. That type of shit that it's a different type of motivation. You be you 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 had niggas from New York and shit like that. A nigga can't tell any battler from New York ever that they are the biggest thing to come out of their city. You know why Biggie Smalls exists, Method Man exists, all of that. You know what I'm saying? For, so for when niggas tell me, yo, you the best thing that ever like the with the with anything, you are the biggest name to ever come out of our city, that'd be a different type of it's a different type of motivation on your back. That, mm. Niggas watch caffeine from my city and see and see and see they city on a TV screen, bro. Yo, I'm, listen, it it don't. I don't leave home without my bitty. You understand me? I don't go nowhere without Richmond. Nowhere, <laughs> nowhere, gangster. Because it, it's different. You feel me? World alive. You feel me? So to be somebody that can leave there with my hat in the same hood I grew up in. I mean, because quite a few niggas can't do that either. You feel me? I'm good in any part of my hood, any part of your hood, any part of a couple different ones. But with an opportunity like this, it would be crazy not to want to put where I'm from on the forefront because struggle makes people overlook your ability. You know what I'm saying? When you got a lot going on, like when, when, when niggas is, is beating the fuck with them drums on the side of the road, you're not paying attention because he's on the side of the road. But you was unintentionally bopping to that beat though. I ain't on the side of the road no more, so my bitty not on it either. You feel me? We on caffeine. That's why I say it like that. Nigga, like that's a fact, me. Like, like shit. Uh, like I pause, bro. Like my second home now. It's funny, my homegirl, because she from she from a city where my city used to be rivals with them when we was young. For some reason, like we didn't fought niggas from pause, bro, just because we was from Woodbury and they was from pause, bro. Like, yeah, like South Jersey, man, because. Niggas hear me, like a lot of niggas thought I was going to get ushered in because I'm from Jersey. And you got Surf and Shug and Arsh. Them niggas live two hours away from me. That's a whole different part of Jersey, you feel me? I live in South Jersey. It ain't too many, you don't hear too many South Jersey people. How do you niggas be yakking at DMV? Say, oh, you from the DMV? Nigga, I'm from Richmond. South side to be exact. 36 and stop. Pull up on me. I mean, that's not the same. I can't hop on no metro and go nowhere. Word up. <laughs> I grew up in the manor and on Hopkins Street. Like, nigga, it's, <laughs> it just don't get no bigger than that. But Flame, my tea is done. And Tiana up there already. So 
I'm about to. I'm about to get ready. You actually was perfect because I had like an hour left to kill. <laughs> I'm about to get ready. Give me some snacks and get the fuck on this plane. I got my page back now though, so it's so. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow when I get the fuck off the plane. I'm going yeah. to go get me a new phone. Text me when you get to the crib or when you land. You know it, bro. Love y'all, man. I love you too, sis. Be easy.